Hi, I'm here and you're here. So let's talk about some new fountain pens and fountain pen accessories that are new to the Goulet Pen Company's website and to this table in front of me. So uh, let's begin with ink as we often do. And it's gonna be Ferris wheel press this time. Here we have two new inks as they often come in pairs. More often than not, I'm seeing them show up as a fairy tale ink and then one of their more standard edition inks in their regular larger bottles. So the fairy tale inks have uh, fairy with F-E-R-R-I, like Ferris wheel. Um, these have a lot more going on usually. In this case, we also have a shimmering regular ink, but these fairy tale inks are really wacky. So this one is called Ribbiting Pond or the Ribbiting Pond. And this is a beautiful, beautiful light blue with uh, rose gold shimmer, I believe. No, green and pink shimmer. This one is ro rose gold shimmer. So green and pink shimmer in this one. I did write with it, so I'll show you some pictures. Um, this is the smaller bottle. So this is the uh, um, 20 mil bottle. 20 mil, $20. The companion ink, well, not really a companion, but it's launching at the same, same time or has launched by the time this video goes up, um, is the Hearty Harvest. And this one is described as an amber butterscotch with rose gold shimmer. I also had the pleasure of writing with this one, had a really great time with it. It is the larger bottle. So this bottle is the 38 mil bottle and this one is going to be $22. So a little bit more bang for your buck on this one, but more stuff is in this bottle. So the smaller bottle kind of has more flair going on but you get more ink with this one. Either way, two very different colors, very fun. And as always, with both, with both and all Ferris Wheel Press boxes, you get completely new and different artwork unique to the ink itself. So always fun times with Ferris Wheel Press. We're going to move on to some more inky goodness. Uh, this is a bit of an ink and pen combo, and it's from Sailor right now. So we are going to talk about the Sailor Dipton fountain pen inks and Hokoro pen. So this is a bit different because we've got full inks here and then a pen that comes with an ink here. It's the same ink, but different. And we'll get into that in a second. Let me bring my phone over here so I can show you exactly what's going on. Okay, so they're calling this the Sailor um, Dipton series uh, by the their Compass um, label. So. Uh, they're calling the ink Dipton, I believe, and the pen itself here is called the Hokoro. So this is the package we're going to be focusing on right now. And I will say the package is really fun. So you're gonna enjoy this one, especially if you happen to at some point be the proud owner of one of these pens. So you wanna go ahead and open it, open it here. And then you get this delightful presentation here, both with the pen, which you'll see on the right side here, and the bottle of ink. We'll get into this in a bit, but uh, you will see that in this case, Ice Dance, which is here and here, uh, are both available. This one is larger in the 20 mil. This is a 10 mil. So this one is not available separately, only its larger counterpart is. Um, more on that in a minute. So once we continue, to make our way through this clever packaging situation, we're going to gain access to the Hokoro pen. And this is something unlike we've ever seen, right? Unless you've seen one of these pens before, of course. So you've got the nib in there, but oh, we can't get to it. So we're gonna just pop that out if I can get a hold of it. There we go. Um, gonna pop that out and then turn it around. You can't put it in just any old way. You need to check to make sure that you're using that flat part and that flat part, and then boom, click, and you're ready to go. So this is a dip pen. It does not take a converter. You cannot fill the barrel. You cannot add a cartridge. This is for dipping only. It does have a feed, which is unique for dip pens, but uh, it definitely helps, and it makes the writing experience quite pleasant. You'll see we've got the Sailor anchor there, and oh no, this nib is bent. <sighs> well, it's supposed to be, because it is a Fude nib, and that means 
that you are supposed to write with it like that, with this flat part facing the paper, and it gives you a very wide stroke. Anyway, it's great for showing off ink, it's great for playing with. This is definitely a fun, let's play with it pen. And it's relatively easy to clean too. You just pop off this front, take the nib and housing unit, plug up a bulb syringe or put it under your sink. There's not a whole lot of intricate you know, engineering here. It's a pretty straight shot, flush it, put it back into the uh, pen and you're good to go. You can't hurt it by dropping it or anything like that. You can throw it around and it's gonna be fine. It's gonna get it done. Whereas something like a glass pen or any other dip pen is uh, going to be less less travel friendly for sure. So they only come in this yellow version, you know, with the uh, sparkly clear barrel here. So this is what you get. And this is going to be the same in the package with the ice dance blue, the mellow forest green, and the coral humming coral. All of these inks say not for use in fountain pens. And that is Sailor Stance. And as an authorized retailer of Sailor Inks, that's our stance as well. So I will say that we have, just to make sure that these weren't going to actually destroy any pens, if someone did not read the label, we did try some of these inks in regular fountain pens. And as these are shimmering inks, we found them quite comparable to many other shimmering inks that we do sell that are indeed fountain pen friendly. Not to say that these are 100% fountain pen friendly, but I will say that I found no difference in their performance than any other fountain pen friendly inks. However, Sailor says they're not fountain pen inks, so do with that what you will. That is the official stance, and uh, that's our official stance as well. So again, we've got the Hokuro Dipton pen and ink set. You can find this set for $29 with the 10 mil bottle of ink. If you just wanted the bottle itself, this one is going to be $24 for the 20 mil bottle of ink. Again, three shimmering inks, three different colors, and then three different sets of the pen and ink, again, with the three different colors as well. Pen, gonna be the same. Let's move on. More ink though, more ink, more interesting ink. This is the Monteverde color changing ink set. Color changing, yes. Now I don't mean that it's color shifting when you put it down, it looks kind of one way and then when it dries, it's another way. No, I mean these inks do the thing that the elementary school markers used to do back in the 90s where you would have one color and then you'd have that white slash clear pen that you'd go over that color in and it would change colors. Exactly the same thing. So here that is, and here are the inks. You've got nine colors and then a color changer, which we'll take a look at here. So we have kind of messed around with these. This is the uh, set that we've been playing with here on our team. Um, so it's kind of, you know, a little more empty than it would normally be and it would normally have a plastic seal around here so nothing leaks. But this is the color changer. It actually is completely clear and you can put this in your fountain pens. So the idea is that you would put the clear component in your fountain pen and then using a fountain pen or a cotton swab or a Dipton uh, dip pen, whatever you want, uh, you would place a large swath of one of these inks onto your paper and then go over this and change the color. So I'll show you some pictures here. We had a lot of fun playing with that in our office and it's definitely worth playing with. These are not serious inks. These are fun play with me inks and they're a great time. So they are pretty different as far as composition goes. They, aren't, they don't all behave the same. Some feather more than others, some color shift far faster than others as well. So you'll have to play with it to find out you know, what you're jiving with, but they are all fun and it's a great opportunity to experiment, goof off, and just enjoy the entire fountain pen experience. And I love the fact that Monteverde is getting a little wild and crazy with us and allowing something 
this out of the box to uh, make its way to market. So we're excited to be able to offer these. And if you don't want to grab this, the kit and the caboodle, um, for $90.40, we offer the individual bottles for sale as well. Those are going to be $13 for the inks and then $7 for the color changer, the clear bottles. So that one is a little bit more affordable because you might, might want more than one of those. Um, if you wanted to get a sample set, if you just wanted to kind of play around with it, you can get the sample set for $22.80. And in that sample set, we also added a little bit more to the color changer, presuming that you're going to be using that one more than you're going to be using the inks. So we're looking out for you there. That is the Monteverde color changing ink set and the samples and the bottles and all of that good stuff. We're going to move on. And I don't have all these to show you because I wasn't going to pull these from the shelf and unwrap them all, but we do have a bunch of new Retro 51 pens available. So the first pen we have available is the Retro 51 Tornado Rollerball in Owl Rescue. This is a really cool pen. It is acid etched, meaning it has texture and it is glow in the dark. Specifically, the owl's eyes glow in the dark. This is a burrowing owl, I learned, and a portion of the proceeds will go to benefit um, owl sanctuaries and nonprofits that help the species. So that is a win. Sorry, I forgot to mention that the owl rescue is $65. Also, one of those pens that helps um, donate to nonprofits for the sake of the species is the Buzz fountain pen. Now, we do have the Buzz and have had the Buzz rollerball available for quite some time. The Buzz fountain pen is $116.50. So fountain pens aren't necessarily Retro 51's bread and butter, but they do write really nicely and it's got all of the fun aesthetic that the Buzz rollerball has. The acid etched feel, the bright, fun bee design, the honeycomb pattern, all of it. It's a great pen, a lot of fun to write with. And then also brand new, hot off the press, is launched today as I'm recording this, the Frankenstein Retro 51 Tornado Rollerball. This one is a Halloween 2023 themed pen. It is glow in the dark. It looks absolutely incredible. And the price on that one is $57.50. So three great new pens from Retro 51. Check them out. They're at least worth a look. Even if you know you're not going to get them, look at them. They look great. All right. Conklin has some new pens. The 1898 collection. I don't know if you can see that, but it says 1898 right there. Oh yeah, you can see that. I can see the little monitor right there. Yeah. 1898, everybody. Um, in the 1898 collection, you've got your standard Conklin box and then whew, swirly, fun pen goodness. We've got three different colors, Misto Green, Misto Purple, and Misto Orange. Um, now this can be orange or blue, depending on your angle. These pens are not consistent in their look. You might look at this and be like, oh look, ah, this is lame much blue or oh no I hate orange this doesn't look good this is gonna be or maybe we'll get one that is more orange or more one that is more blue it's all over the place misto meaning mixed in Italian that's why they're calling these things that they really are all over the place but they look lovely um, misto orange here you've got a rose gold little bit of furniture here rose gold clip a beautiful beautiful rose gold and black center band that really does look nice it's, it's really smooth. I've never seen a band done like this by Conklin before. It's not a lasery or sharp or anything like that. It's a really, really smoothly done band. And of course, you've got the uh, Conklin clip and it is a rocker clip, which I also really, really like. I love clips that are easy to get on and off your person or your pen case. And then opening it up, you'll see that we also have a rose gold nib. So we've got the Conklin nib. This nib is made by Yovo in Germany, but to Conklin's special specifications with the signature crescent breather hole that Conklin has been known for for quite some time. This is a cartridge converter pen. Um, Misto green here. You'll see the same features. However, you will not see any rose gold. This one is going to be a silver trim version with the same sort of hardware with a silver nib over here. Again, same Signature look, cartridge converter, and a beautiful new swirly acrylic pattern that uh, Conklin has not yet implemented, but here we have it first. And then with the Misto Purple, we return to the rose gold furniture here. 
beautiful center band, a lot of depth in the material. Wildly inconsistent, but very fun. So if you're looking for uniformity, these are not the pens you want. If you want something that is going to be uniquely you and something that you are not going to find replicated anywhere, even on eBay in 20 years, this is going to be your unique pen and it's going to be a very specific design that only you have. The best thing about this pen though, I mean, it's a nice pen, but the price honestly is the most shocking aspect of it. I thought that this was going to be in the realm of like $300 because I've seen stuff like this come from Natuno and uh, that's what I was anticipating. Really, it's like a hundred bucks. It is exactly 108. So $108 for one of these Misto um, 1898 pens. And I don't know, that shocked me. Maybe you think that's too expensive. I was expecting it to be more, but they're available now. Again, Misto Purple, Misto Orange, and Misto Green. All right. Finally, we are done with everything except for this Lamy box here. And inside this Lamy box is a Dialog CC. And the Dialog CC is a smaller version of the Dialog 3 by Lamy. And let's temporarily remove that little guy. Um, this one is new and special because it is an all black Dialog CC. When you look at it, you don't even know you're looking at a fountain pen. That's one of the things I really like about the CC. It doesn't give anything away, and especially this all black version. It is very subtle. You've got um, not a rose gold piece of trim here at the back like the other CCs do, but just a glossy piece of black here. You can see the black trap door here, Germany engraved there at the front porthole, and then a very subtle Lamy roll stop. This pen has no clip, only a roll stop so that it does not escape your grasp. So to operate it, you simply give it a twist and there is the nib. It's a 14 karat gold nib with ruthenium plating. So it is black. You've got a sort of, you know, uh, spherical door kind of like what you'd see in like a, you know, some plumbing applications that curls around the nib to seal it off and then moves while it ejects. And then to open it up, you just keep on turning. So you would turn it to eject it, turn it to retract it, and then just once it stops, keep turning it to access the converter or the cartridge. Obviously you see it comes with converter, but you can pop this right out and replace it with a cartridge if you wish. There you go. So if you wanted to swap out the nib, give it a good deep clean, this is what you do. You'll see that these threads right there are what um, get threaded into the pen. That is the Lamy Dialog CC in all black. It is $351.20. Certainly a conversation starter and very likely a pen unlike anything else in your collection, unless you already have a Dialog CC. It is a heavy-ish pen for the size. It's not a big pen, but uh, it is a metal pen, so it does have some heft, but I think it's very comfortable. It's very, it, this weight is very compact, so it doesn't, you know, um, push anything off balance in my opinion, but I don't know. It's up to you. Every hand is different, but for me, heavier pens only become uncomfortable when the balance is really affected by the heaviness. This one doesn't do that. Because it is a shorter pen, to me, it elongates just enough past my wrist, and all of its weight is fairly balanced out, and nothing's tipping me one way or the other. So there we have it, the, li the, Lamy, Dialog the Lamy Dialog CC in all black. And we also have this in white and navy blue if you want to go take a look at those couple different colors for whatever your taste might be. Those are the new things this week at the Goulet Pen Company. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the kind words that you drop in here, and uh, I appreciate you being able to uh, allow me and the rest of the whole company here to keep doing what we love. So thank you again and always for the support. I hope you have a fantastic day. Right on.